Hello again everyone, Edwin Lerner back once again in this YouTube astrological segment. I'm going to be talking about the moon in conjunct the north node in a natal chart. Now first off, some of you may remember when I first started my YouTube astrology channel, I did a series on the aspects in the natal chart. They were a little bit concise. Some people may have referred to them as snappy. So what I decided to do was make a, another series on them in which the videos would be a little bit longer and more descriptive. So anyway, first thing up is, well, if you have the moon in conjunct the north node in the natal chart, one way it may manifest could be having to, to make an adjustment, which is the in conjunct between um, your emotional needs, which is the moon, and uh, pursuing your future, which is uh, the north node. Uh, the thing about this is, let's say when you have a Gemini moon, in the North Node in Capricorn, and it's making an inconjunct aspect. Well, though there's obviously a very big disparity between the energy of those zodiac signs. The Moon in Gemini you know, can be restless and you know, wants to do you know variety, manifold things, may spread oneself too thin. And you have you know, the North Node in Capricorn, where the the future may be tied into structure, discipline, consistency being ambitious, attaining, you know, one's career ambitions, responsibilities, and so, you know, you have, it could either be too much of one or the other, the moon in Gemini is an example, you know, can be doing, you know, too much, there might be too much emphasis on, you know, that need to have variety in one's life, and in the north, or the north node may be emphasized too much, where you have, you have too much energy, you know, being overly regimented, being consistent, or constantly, you know, doing you know, things in a very structured and more predictable manner. So it's really where you have, you know, have a lot of vacillation and distortion of energy. So, you know, the key again is to find, you know, that uh, balance and equilibrium between the two energies. Now, another thing about the moon uh, in conjunct the north node and the natal chart there could be an imbalance you know between what you feel comfortable and at home with which is the moon and the development of the positive attributes connected with the north node position now if the north node is in um, taurus as an example you know those positive attributes of the north of that the north node placement can be tied in with being loyal, uh, steadfast, very pragmatic, persistent, patient, persevering, uh, trustworthy, um, being very uh, reliable, you know, doing um, things, you know, being able you know, to be um, counted on, you know, per tenacity, being able to stick with you know, something for, you know, a long period. Um, it could be matters connected with endurance. You know, this is where um, being steady and, and stable, just having monetary stability as some examples. Now, the thing is, um, if you have another thing um, as far as how this aspect may manifest on the natal chart, could be where you have, um, you know, the, um, the mother and the family, which is the moon, may either be tremendously um, involved as far as your destiny goes, which is the North Node, or they may be, you know, non-existent, or, you know, express apathy, you know, even be oblivious to what you want to do in terms of your destiny. Now, if the North Node is in um, the Zodiac sign Cancer, as an example, you know, that destiny may be tied into simply having you know, the home, family life, having safety, security. It could be doing, you know, uh, something cancerian related, a field or profession connected with the zodiac sign cancer, such as cooking, culinary, restaurant work, uh, doing something you know, as a home caregiver, real estate, home remodeling, renovation, uh, interior decoration. Uh, something with a laundry or plumbing business as some examples and the thing too about uh, this aspect in the natal chart is that you may strongly feel often which is the moon you know like doing you know what needs to be emphasized in that second half of life 
it's just a north note then other times you just may be flat out apathetic you know in matters associated uh, with that now the north node say is in Virgo as an example what may need to be emphasized in that second half of life may be tied in with analysis diagnosing things organization having uh, being punctual reliable you know, doing things in a very you know systematic methodical manner it could be doing you know something you know, associated more specifically with Virgo or Virgo field or profession which would include something with analytics statistics health and fitness data entry it could be extrapolation of data you know as some examples um, it could be something working as a professional organizer, a cleaner, and somebody that is in um, you know, sanitation or in you know, some health related field, you know, which can include you know, working as a, a primary care physician, as some examples. Now, another thing about this aspect in the natal chart is that, you know, um, you know, you can have an imbalance of energy in matters pertaining to people you're close to home with and also you know on on the mission and purpose you know which is the north node close to home you know is the moon and your mission and purpose of course is the north node so there may be you know either too much focus and emphasis on the people you feel close to home with and then there may not be enough on that mission and purpose um, in your life and you know the thing is let's say if the north node is in scorpio as an example the mission, the mission and purpose may be tied in just to matters of support or shared resources you know having power and control in something uh, transformation being empowering you know you may empower others it could be doing something Scorpio related, which can include something associated with psychology, uh, locksmithing, embalming, working as a coroner, a surgeon, doing something with deep research, investigation, forensics, uh, recycling, insurance, taxes, as some examples. And, you know, there, there could be, you know, and it could be again the emphasis on one or the other either too much emphasis on the people you're close to home with and not enough on fulfilling the mission and purpose in one's life or the other way around so you know, again that key is to find that balance and equilibrium between the two energies now another thing about this aspect in, in the natal chart is that you may either strongly emphasize you know the public which is the moon in terms of one's destiny, which is the north node, or you may not emphasize it at all, and there may be more, you know, about isolation or just, you know, fulfilling the destiny without necessarily having you know, the public involved. Now, let's say the north node is in Aquarius, as an example. You know, that destiny may be tied in, you know, something connected with computers, electronics, astronomy astrology, innovation, meteorology, um, aviation, humanitarian, altruistic endeavors. Uh, but at times you may you know, strongly incorporate the public in that, you know, doing things more you know, with that work you know, with the public or other times you may just simply be content in just doing you know, those matters, you know, those, um, those fields you know, just by yourself you know whether it's you know, learning about them or what have you just in isolation so the thing is again you got to find you know, the balance and the equilibrium between the two energies now another thing too is that sometimes you may be very emotional which is the moon or emotionally vested i should say in what you're learning and aspiring to be which is the north node and other times there may be you know, no emotion you know, feeling connected with what you're doing and maybe more impassive and stolid regarding those matters now you know, if the north node is in pisces say you know what you're learning and aspiring to be maybe connected with being more altruistic um, sacrificing forgiving compassionate 
idealistic. It could be doing something associated with the zodiac sign Pisces, which can include dancing, poetry, photography, anesthesiology, or even something with the metaphysical, which includes astrology or something connected with spirituality. Anyway, people, that will conclude this YouTube astrological segment. Until next time, Edward Learner is saying, stay well.